Yes, uh, welcome uh, to the course on ecology and environment. Uh, this is a course directed at uh, students of engineering and science uh, entering a, a program, uh, the first uh, two years of their curriculum before they enter uh, into the thick of their disciplines. The course is uh, uh, being taught by uh, several instructors uh, from IIT Madras who have expertise in different areas of ecology, environment and uh, the issues of sustainability. Um, and the uh, course is designed to be highly interdisciplinary in nature uh, because this is applicable to all st students of all uh, branches uh, of engineering and uh, sciences. So uh, in this uh, video, uh, I will go over some of the uh, contents of the course and the objectives of this course and give you a broad outline of what uh, will be covered in this, uh, in this course. So one of the main uh, issues in this course is the issue of uh, sustainability. So what is sustainability? Um, sustainability, as you, many of you might have heard from different sources, uh, there are three pillars of sustainability. One is uh, the society or social aspects, economic aspect and the environment. Uh, when you have uh, a balance between uh, social and economic factors, we call that as equitable and we call, when we have a balance between economics and environment, we call it as viable. And we call, when we have a balance between socia social and environment, we call it as bearable. When all these three are in balance uh, is when uh, we call the situation or the uh, system as sustainable. And uh, from the point of view of uh, ecology and environment, uh, uh, we, we will study ecology and environment in this course from the point of view of sustainability. Um, and sustainability is a very complex uh, uh, subject and we, as we see, uh, there are different aspects interplays between different aspects in society and the way we live uh, that uh, influence uh, this aspect of sustainability in our society. And we, in this course, we hope to cover uh, several of these issues as, uh, as you can see here, we look at uh, ecological impact, climate change, solid waste management, water uh, waste management, uh, energy production, economics, ethics and urban development. Uh, many of these issues are covered by, will be discussed by uh, different experts in these areas. Uh, the main objectives of this course is uh, not to make you uh, an expert in ecology or environment, but for, but because students coming from different uh, disciplines and they will be professionals in these disciplines, we would like to introduce the concept of sustainability with a focus on ecology and environment and to sensitize students of engineering and science uh, on the issues of sustainability, especially in terms of for, for product process and service design. And uh, so uh, with that objective, we, we, we will provide an overview of the broad issues related to ecology, environment, uh, energy, uh, resources, environmental resources, waste management, urban development, urban uh, environment and economics uh, uh, and ethics of, uh, of, the, uh, of activities with reference to uh, the concepts of sustainability. And uh, specifically what we hope is uh, for engineers and scientists in the domains, different domains of technology, we will like to emphasize uh, the, uh, whatever they do on, on the impact on ecology and environment through examples. Uh, so we look at different case studies, for example, things like dams or energy generation, or different ways in which people do this uh, energy generation, how it affects uh, uh, the ecology and environment and also sensitize engineers to the aspect of design of products, process, services, as we mentioned above. For example, we have products such as mobile phones and processes uh, such as combustion of, of any fuel and services, for example, banking or software industry where, where uh, you see that across these uh, examples here, cut across uh, several disciplines uh, from electrical engineering to computer science to chemical engineering or civil engineering or mechanical engineering or uh, electrical and uh, materials engineering and so on. So we have divided this course into uh, several modules and the first one uh, it talks about sustainability of the definition of sustainability and the overview of the current global status of sustainability and there are different issues uh, globally and that we, India is part of that and we also look at the local and uh, the global issues in terms of what is going on and uh, we also highlight certain aspects uh, of uh, technology and society with reference to sustainability. The second module uh, looks at the economics and ethics uh, in the entire thing and economics as we saw in one of the pillars of sustainability and, and ethics play a very important role because we look at several examples in society where we have to make a decision and this decision uh, involves people making, um, uh, making decisions based on what they consider is the, is the ethics, their ethic and there is uh, 
we will discuss some of the issues related to this in some examples in our uh, society. And uh, another module on ecology, uh, this looks at the definition of ecology, what constitutes different uh, components of ecology in, uh, that we know of and how do we classify it and, and the biodiversity and the definition of biodiversity and why that is important. And we also look at examples of uh, what happens to, uh, to uh, the ecology uh, when uh, there is a very uh, heavy uh, uh, economic activity and a specific economic activity having a specific impact on the ecology. And there are several examples of that. We will discuss some of them. And then we look at restoration uh, of a damaged ecology. If something has been damaged already and we look at principles of ecological engineering where we can try to restore uh, a certain uh, ecosystem uh, back to as, as best as possible and uh, how we can all contribute to that. And we have another module which is water and wastewater treatment and management. This is a very important issue. It is one of the fundamental uh, uh, needs for human beings and, uh, and in our society and therefore uh, what are the goals and what are the methods in which we do this and uh, some of the and again, we bring in issues of sustainability in all these things because, uh, because of the economics and the social issues that are also uh, at play in some of these uh, water and wastewater treatment issues. And we look at water resources as a separate module because uh, water and wastewater treatment, the entire uh, set of that, uh, what we do there depends on how we manage our water resources. And sometimes uh, in, the, in the face of uh, things like climate change uh, where we see that rainfall patterns have changed and uh, what we receive is not as what we used to receive before in terms of rain and therefore we have to manage our water resources in a much more efficient manner. And we will look at some of the uh, current uh, setups that we have and what are the adaptation strategies that we can, uh, we can use in order to uh, counter these uh, impacts. We have an uh, important module on energy and we look at different uh, the current scenario of energy demand and, and the resources that we have for generation of energy and then one of the main issues from energy generation is pollution um, and then energy also has a big impact on climate change and there is a lot of debate international, on an international scale about this and we talk about energy and sustainability and then we look at long range and short range solutions with reference to what we mean by long range is in, uh, on a global scale and short range is on a national or regional scale, what we can do in order to uh, counter uh, and meet our energy demands in a sustainable manner. And we have one module on what we call as uh, life cycle assessment or LCA and this looks at uh, what we also call as a cradle to grave uh, assessment of a product or a service. Uh, so something is designed and what happens to it uh, 50 years later and whether it has uh, harmful effects on society or in the environment and other things. So, there are different issues of it that we are going to dis we'll discuss in this module uh, with specific examples and how we can link in environmental management principles into this. And we have a module on uh, urban development uh, uh, because this is a very important issue, uh, especially in India where we have uh, the uh, development of very uh, big cities. Cities which are already big have been have increased, that is called as urban sprawl. And we also have smaller cities that are uh, coming up and uh, spreading out very fast. So, we have a lot of challenges uh, and these challenges are with reference to what we call as smart systems in terms of transport, energy, air quality, water and waste water management and solid waste management and governance which includes how the, it includes the participation of people in decision making processes that uh, in urban development. It is an overview of the course that we have and again as uh, we mentioned earlier, the, the, the goal of this course is try to sensitize all students of all engineering and science backgrounds to incorporate these principles to the best extent before they get into the thick of their uh, professional courses and so they keep this in the back of their mind whenever uh, they are designing whatever they are designing uh, and uh, hopefully will make it a, a, a sustainable environment for all of us. Thank you.